Conan Exiles has been through many periods and phases since its release, however none have been as large nor as polarising as the move to the Ages system. The Age of Sorcery came to Conan in September 2022, and amongst the many changes came the Battle Pass and the Bazaar. The Black Lotus Bazaar has remained a point of contention for many. Some people absolutely love it, some people detest anything to do with it, and many sit in the middle ground. However, almost everyone would agree the Bazaar is not perfect. How can it be fixed? Well, away from any vitriol or rhetoric, I'm going to attempt to give some constructive feedback after almost a year of the Bazaar on how I think it can improve for the better. I think there's little sense in pointing out what's wrong without offering fair criticism and ways to improve, and if we're being honest, screaming about Tencent or Greed won't really get us anywhere. However, hopefully some fair and balanced feedback will. That being said, I do think it's important to sort of temper our expectations beforehand. Realistically, the bazaar is not going to change overnight. It's not going to disappear, and prices aren't suddenly going to drop to a dollar or two. It will likely never be perfect, and will likely never please everyone. However, I think some sensible feedback from us, the players, is the best way to communicate and find a comfortable middle ground. Of course, as players, we're not privy to internal engagement data and such, but these points, formulated from my own opinions and feedback I commonly see from others, should hopefully prove valuable. So, with that, let's begin. Pricing is always a big concern with any MTX storefront. Most of the stuff I'll say here you've probably heard a hundred times, so I won't take too long, but prices across the board are just too high in the bazaar. There have been some good deals, but the majority of offerings are just a bit too expensive to appeal to the majority of players. The devs have previously said they are always reviewing prices and making changes slowly, and I'll dig into that a little further in the third point. However, as a simple blanket statement, prices need to come down. By making pricing fairer, and showing that Funcom are listening to price feedback, I think people would feel a bit happier about engaging with the bazaar. One of the largest improvements that could be made to the bazaar is consistency across multiple facets. The first facet is pricing. In my experience there appears to be a slight inconsistency in pricing across similar packs. There could be some consistency, but because everything's so opaque it's really hard to tell. It's not a huge difference if there is an inconsistency, but I think clear and consistent pricing categories can help to temper expectations. For example, if a full build set to an old DLC standard is $10, then a reduced building set like the new dungeon set should have a lower price, consistent with the standard set by the contents of a quote unquote normal bundle. This does likely already exist internally to some degree, but the definitions are fairly opaque to us. If there is a form of standardised, consistent pricing based on the contents of a bundle, I think this would make things a bit clearer and more consistent for us. The second facet of consistency is the actual quality of the items within bundles. This covers multiple areas including the aesthetic quality, usability, die zones of armours, etc. This also plays into QA testing, which will be mentioned later, but people will be much more secure in their purchases if they can feel, with reasonable certainty, that there will be a level of consistent quality they can expect. Personally, for my tastes, I feel like they're almost there aesthetically, but there are other things that are being overlooked and aren't quite matching up to the quality that should be there. Of course, issues and oversights will crop up from time to time, such as the nature of game development, but consistency is one of the biggest attractors or repulsors for engaging with paid content like that in the bazaar. One thing I think goes a long way with the majority of people is transparency and communication. Of course, this does have to go hand in hand with observable improvements, but most people just appreciate honesty. Funcom have done this before in regards to development around Siptar and larger issues affecting the game, but regular and honest communication is always good. Being upfront about issues with things in the bazaar and addressing any problems, bugs or inconsistencies as early as possible has to be a top priority. As I mentioned in the first point, the devs have said they regularly review engagement and pricing to work out what needs to be moved around. These changes could very well happen quite often, but because we can't track and see all those prices for every bundle at any given time, it's sometimes really hard to see those changes actually happening. Therefore, I would propose that a bizarre refresh blog once every major update would help with that. It doesn't need to be a lot, just a note of which bundles have been assessed and what changes have been made to pricing. 
The main reason I suggest this is because, say for example you see a bundle that's $10, and then the next season it rolls back around towards the end and it's now 7 or $8. Because it's spent so long out of rotation where it's out of sight and out of mind, the old price just kind of gets memory hold and you kind of forget. Therefore it's really hard to perceive that actual improvement and see that things have been done. Also, something else that I think would help out would be a bizarre rotation button in the bazaar itself that shows you what's coming in the next week or two on the rotations. This would help to combat the larger issue of uncertainty as to when things come back onto the bazaar, and if someone's really looking for a certain bundle and they see it's coming in two or three weeks, they can be safe in that knowledge. Overall, some honest communication about changes, issues and upcoming content would be pretty easy to do, and most players would find the information and the feedback valuable. This point is perhaps the most important, even more so than pricing. As I mentioned in the consistency segment, having an expectation of quality is very important in an MTX storefront. Some of the most successful stores in the industry have reached that level of success because of that consistent level of quality. That being said, QA and testing has been an issue in Conan for a while. I can't profess to know why, I suspect it's a bit deeper than testers just missing things, but that must improve. No reasonable person expects a flawless experience all the time, it's just not possible. There are also more complex issues at work on consoles, especially on PS4 and Xbox One due to the aging hardware, and frankly I don't really know where the breaking point lies for them. However, as a general statement, QA and testing has to improve. As the primary paid element of the game, the bazaar needs to be as smooth and as bug free as possible at every opportunity. It will never be completely bug free, that just won't happen, but potential issues need to take absolute priority. If bundles do come out and significant bugs are found, pull the bundle from the store until it's fixed. Just say, hey, you guys found a bug we didn't catch, we've pulled it from the store until it's fixed. Most people will appreciate the honesty. Bugs are often Conan's biggest stumbling block. The devs have been consistently coming up with some great ideas, both in gameplay and in the stuff in the bazaar, but bugs always just leave a sour taste in the mouth. People can overlook small graphical issues or inconsistencies that don't really affect gameplay, but when bundles are missing items, like the sandstone superset did at launch, or when they're incredibly difficult to use, like the Terranian extension set, that is just not acceptable and it will turn people off from engaging with the bazaar in the future. A really good example of that is the Stormglass Cathedral set. I don't recall that having really any issues when it came out, and I never see a bad word said about it. Of course this could be confirmation bias, as everyone in my comments knows, I love Stormglass and I use it probably a bit too much, but that stands out as a set that was done well, released properly and had very few issues. Going forth, QA and testing needs to improve. Relentlessly targeting and eliminating bugs and issues is the most important thing to do in any MTX store, and being upfront and transparent about doing that will likely garner a lot of good faith. My final point is not so much an issue now, but I predict that it will be within a year or two. The Bazaar currently has a total of 7 slots changing at different rotation times. So far this hasn't been that terrible, and towards the end of chapters is generally when we can expect to see older sets come back in. However, each update comes with a whole bunch of bundles that will fit all of these segments. Within a year or two we'll be running awfully short on time for a lot of these bundles to roll back in. This could leave people waiting months to see Stormglass Cathedral, or the Terranian Extension set, or any of the other bundles they're interested in getting. Therefore, I propose this redesign to the bazaar. Of course, Funcom devs would do a lot better than I have, I've just done what I can with Photoshop and a bit of patience. We've now got two large highlight slots, eight medium and four small. I would also recommend reducing the rotation time, especially on the large slots. On the bottom row you'll also notice two buttons. Next rotation, like I mentioned earlier, shows you what's coming up after these items rotate out. Seasonal catalog would be a curated collection of items that both will and won't show up in upcoming rotations. This can be discounted items, themed around different cultures, or just a bunch of items that devs thinks people would like to have access to. This doesn't have to be a terribly large collection, but having these items available to purchase at any time during the season would be a nice addition, and the catalogue can be refreshed either every three months with a title update, or every month and a half, like a mid-season update kind of. 
As the back catalogue of items in the bazaar grows, the problem of trying to rotate an increasingly larger pool of items through a small number of slots will only be exacerbated. When the bazaar first came out, I questioned why they didn't do just a catalogue system from the start, however just a full on text list of everything in the game wouldn't be very nice to look at, but I do think a good old redesign could future proof the bazaar very nicely. And there we have it. 5 points that I think could go a good way towards fixing the bazaar and making it an overall better system. Thank you for watching, and of course a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. The bazaar is a reality of modern day Conan that isn't going anywhere, as frankly the game does need the money. However, it does need improvement, and I hope I've made a fair case for how those improvements can be achieved. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.